one of the workshops is about uh, people of faith, faith-filled people. And each of us can look back through our histories. I'm 69, I've got 60 years or so of, of history of working with people and seeing people and enjoying people. And some of them I really trust and some of them I don't. And some of them were an amazing example to me of how to live by faith, how to trust the universe, to supply our needs, how we can trust ourselves, how we can trust God for some people, that's important, um, how we can trust principles and philosophies to lead us through, providing those principles and philosophies are built on solid rock. But one of the things that we do as human beings is we look to other people to see how they live by faith, particularly when we're in exam examining this subject. And I'll be looking at those people too. Um, I had an amazing uh, mentor for many years, 20 years. And uh, we, we used to meet up and we'd start with every week um, and then every month um, and then a little bit less often over as the years went past. Um, and he was an incredible uh, inspiration to me about a person who, who simply, to say he trusted everything to work out all right, it wasn't like that at all. It was something much more fundamental than that. He absolutely trusted everything to work out all right. And faith is like that. Faith is... Um, a, a confident assurance that the future is going to work out all right, that the stars will be there tomorrow, um, that the sun will shine. Those are the sort of rock solid things that we can depend on. And we're going to be using all the illustrations that we can to illustrate what living by faith is all about and how we can depend on people down through history who have demonstrated massive, massive faith. Um, one of them I'm always impressed with is the people who sailed on the Mayflower or other um, ships from the UK to the States uh, to establish things and then burnt their boats on the, on, the, on the beaches because they didn't want to give anybody the idea that they could go back from where they were. And that surely is an amazing thing to do. And we'll be looking at some more people like that. There's you know, another one of my favourites is Ranulph Fiennes, who, who walked across the Antarctic and of course every step for him was a step of faith on the journey that he made. Yeah. One of the things I'd like to do at this particular stage is simply to invite you to, to come with me on this journey of exploration, discovering, learning, contributing your particular way of approaching the world and how it works. It's really, really important for us to take time out of our lives to focus on things that really matter for us. Because when um, I started thinking around living by faith um, as, a, as a workshop series, I realized that there was so very little uh, workshops that were, were, were devoted to this subject. And um, there may be a reason for that, of course. However, I, I'm also aware that people don't want to be just shallow all the time. They want to actually look at something that's deeper and more solid. And I'm inviting you to, to, to join me on this exploration. It'll be so useful for you to come and join me. Come and be part of the package. Come and share the workshop with me. Come and join us in our virtual um, office, training room, garden, or wherever it happens to be, so that we can enjoy discovering, learning uh, about living by faith together.